In this video, we're going to explain how to get the most out of your training with Zwift training plans. Using Zwift is like having your own coach because there are so many different workouts and training plans to choose from depending on what goal you want to achieve. There are over a thousand structured workouts aimed at every sort of cyclist, multi-sport athlete or runner. Geared to your ability, the guided intervals are really easy to follow. You can build on your strengths, work on your weaknesses, all within sessions that are designed by some of the best coaches in the world. There are many benefits of a training plan. By having a plan, you're going to be able to hold yourself accountable and to stay consistent. Using a platform like Zwift for indoor training, you're gonna be able to be really efficient with your time and get the most out of the hours that you've got. Whether you're preparing for a big outdoor event, looking to build a workout routine or striving for that new PR, a Zwift training plan could be just what you need. Swift cycling and running training plans are crafted by race winning coaches and tailored to your fitness. On screen prompts keep you motivated and you can earn points and unlock achievements while you sweat. Swift training plans are flexible, give you particular time windows to complete workouts, and smartly reshuffle the plan based on your activities. You can fit your workouts into your busy schedule and build fitness without reshuffling your whole calendar. Remember that Zwift training plans are not a test, but a way for you to build consistency and structure in your everyday routine whilst building fitness. If you skip a workout, your Zwift training plan will automatically update to deliver the best workout next time you're ready. Something to bear in mind though, is that Zwift training plans can't be paused. So once you've signed up, you have to complete each phase within a set time frame. This setup allows you to maximize the results from your training efforts. If you do miss a phase, you won't be able to go back, but don't panic. Instead, move on to the next workout and do your best. Even if you're not getting the full benefit from the training plan, what matters most is showing up. The coaches who designed these plans work to build in sufficient recovery after every session. That means that sometimes your training plan won't have you riding as much as you would like. Remind yourself that we don't grow stronger during a workout, but once we've recovered and adapted to the training stress. The coaches who design these plans work to build in sufficient recovery after every workout. This means that sometimes your training plan may not have you ride as much as you'd like. Remind yourself that we don't grow stronger during a workout, but afterwards when we can recover and adapt to the training stress. Want a custom workout? No problem. An easy drag and drop interface lets you create the perfect session to meet your skill level and training demands. You can drop in and adjust blocks in each zone to target something specific or to try out a new workout. Whilst doing a structured workout, you can see on the left sidebar the upcoming intervals and by each of those intervals is a star. Swift gives you a gold star for each interval block you complete successfully. You'll also get XP to help you level up while you're at it. A half star is awarded if you successfully completed only part of the interval or if your effort is too far off the target. Each interval has a target power level for cycling. You'll see it at the top of your screen next to the words ride at or hold with your current power or pace in the center. You'll earn stars depending on how closely you stayed to that target in each interval and for how long. There is some wiggle room to go slightly below or above that number. When you are out of range, your power or pace turns red and you'll see a warning to increase or reduce it. Bring it back to within the range and the number turns black. The goal is to stay within this target range for the whole of the interval. Instead of aiming for an average, try to spend as much time as possible close to your target. It's okay if you struggle to hit the right power or pace at first. The first several seconds of an interval don't count. Adjust your effort as best as you can and once you're within range, focus on keeping it steady. Rest intervals count too. Remember to spin those cranks as you recover. If you ride with a controllable smart trainer in erg mode, your trainer will automatically change the resistance to help you reach the target power. Try slowing your cadence before a hard interval to start adding resistance or speed up your cadence to lower resistance before a rest. 
You may want to turn off erg mode if short intervals give you trouble. You can do this in the selection screen before the workout or from the action bar during the workout. You'll need to change gears and cadence to adjust your power. Finally, we'll take a look at post-ride analysis. The post-workout analysis shows your effort, calories, duration and more. It will also inform you if there have been any changes to your FTP number for future workouts. I would also highly recommend checking your progress over time using the Zwift Companion app. Also within the app, you have the ability to see a full week's training plan, which can help you consistently complete your workouts. Using the weekly view to plan your training schedule, you'll be well on your way to achieving your goals. If you enjoyed this video, remember to hit that like button and subscribe to the Cyclist YouTube channel.